<clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. Doki Panic Club. Doki Doki Panic Club. Yeah, um, we're here writing a new poem. Uh, we have a, we have uh, our own poems that we wrote too. Um, as I wrote my poem. I also wrote my poem. It's quite short this time. I've been flirting with this person that I met over the internet in between parts. Um, see, you know, I I can, I know how that is, man. Yeah, um, I, I don't know why I just admitted that. I guess it's because I have nothing better else to introduce this part. <laughs> well, um, Doki Doki Literature Club, everybody. Chaz is here. Yes. Everybody give a big hand to Chaz, my boy, my, my brother. You the person only... I really care a lot for. That's a point for you there. Thank you. Uh, friend. And then, of course, you got me, Gildum. I, I don't matter nearly as much, but we did write poems. I got my poem right in front of me. Yes. Uh, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. Usually your poems are superb in comparison to mine, so my, here's... Mine's pretty terrible this time. My Mine is nothing special, but I will try. I am writing it on slightly inebriation tiredness, so that's that's a good combination. That's one point for you. <laughs> you know my suffering okay I grow my basil in my room it always tries to bloom with a grow light up top I fertilize the crop then add the spice to my mill slop oh, I like that I like that it's just, it's just like it's whimsical I like it, it don't it's, worry it's got, um, it's, it's got a William Carlos Williams kind of to it I will totally go up the record next time, okay? My plan is to make the most bizarro poem next time. I'm, I'm building this up like it's going to be something amazing for part three, but I... Uh, no, wait, this is part... Th I'm building up like it's going to be amazing for part four, but I can't guarantee you it is. I'm going to try. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Chaz, what is your poem? All right, my poem is... All right, here, here it goes. <clears throat> Why worry when one about which wife wins leaves lonely less last push pink off a cliff <laughs> She has been uh, proven to be the worst one out of all these. I mean take <laughs> take a look at these little silhouettes, the ones that are bouncing around, okay? Yeah. We got we got little sister complex who is smiling. Honestly, that in itself is a point of its own. I like that. Um, then you got Pink. She's basically the, uh, what is it, Sundry or whatever? It's like the one yeah. anime complex where she's yeah. like, it's not like I like you or anything, Baka. Yeah. Um, basically, you know, I hate that trope because it's so sadistic. In, in fact, she's basically, that, that's just it. She's the sadistic character. I, I'm not a fan of that. Her suffering brings her pleasure. Or, or rather, our suffering brings her pleasure. Yeah. So, she can fuck right off. For all it's worth. Then, of course, that. you got Rock here, who, uh... Well, you know, she, she's like the shy character. Which, I admit, there's a little appeal to it. But the problem is... I am really not into that whole vibe. Eh, it's whatever. It, it really is. I, I hate to say it, but, like, if the tropes are already said, it's like, Little Sister is probably going to win for me. Like, she's she's probably going to get, like, my vote almost 100% of the time. Unless, you know, Rock or Pink set, does a thing that makes me be like, Oh my god, honestly, my mind has changed. And, and it's really simply because... Little Sister Complex has positivity, and I like that. I like being happy. Now, here's the, here's the thing, right? Yeah. That's not going to matter at all. Probably not. Because this game is not a dating sim. It's something it else. It really isn't. I mean, if I had my choice, it would be Monica. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, right. she has charisma. She has attractiveness. She has a personality that I can sort of vibe with. It's not. I'm not against it. I, I want to clarify that I'm not against it. Yeah. Well, let's write our poem here. How about it? 
So, yes, um, you know what, I went first last time. Alright, alright, that's fair. Um, I would like to pick Whirlwind. Whirlwind? What is this, Pokemon? Yes. Oh, she liked Oh, it. rock like that. So, if I had to, let's see, Papa Cheeks, pure... You know <laughs> what, cheeks. out of all these... Cheeks! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, yes, and you know what? Pink liked it. Cheeks. Um, how about, um, headphones? Interesting choice. I'm gonna say, you know what, I'm gonna guess that Rock likes that one. It's oh, pink. she liked that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's my turn. Um, yeah. Rock, Pink, Rock. Uh, little sister complex, rock, rock. Um, I don't even know. A little sister, maybe. Um, uh, pink, maybe. Rock, rock. God, don't go I, I have a chase I, and walk. I don't even want that. Um, you know what? Suicide. She Fuck it. <laughs> Suicide. Suicide. Well, just, I'm just picking a little I'm picking, random soup. I know that little sister likes treasure, so I'm picking. Okay. She yeah, yeah she did. Um. Mm. That's definitely rock. You know what? Out of all these, who likes pout? I'm I'm just curious. She likes oh, pout. Pink likes pout. Mm -hmm. I'm not okay with that. And then how how about uh? Holiday. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be Little Sister. Yep. Um, what about Infinite? Oh. Mm. She might, you know what, if uh, Rock might like Marvel, I'll give her a point for that just because it, Infinite sort of has a connotation with the Infinite Gauntlet. I'm going Summer again. Summer. It's a good Rob Scallion song. <laughs> Pink like that one. Uh, what about email? <laughs> what? Like email? Oh, pink. Um, about uh, unrestrained. All right, it's totally rock. Um, well, if I had to say anything, you know, Undertale, Pokemon, JoJo, uh, JoJo. King Crimson. Uh, oof. Out of all these, I'm not. I'm not impressed. You know, chocolate. I like chocolate. And so did Pink. How about uh? I'm gonna pick uh. Anger. Oh, I, I have to ask. Who do you think is gonna be associated with? Actually, you know what? I kind of think it's pink, but I don't want it to be. I feel like it's going to be associated with rock. Anger is pink. Let's go for it. it, it uh, you're right. Mm, I was right. Unfortunately. Forgive. Well, she liked that. Yeah. Uh, how about um, Melody? I have a feeling that's going to be Little Sister Complex. No, oh, it's pink. pink. Oh, this is me. Um, Sparkle. Yeah. Fireworks. I had a feeling it was going to be Little Sister. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what What the fuck is this? I F honestly... Gulchin? I honestly, I don't know that word. Uh, first off, do, do a Google search. I'm actually asking you, Chez, to... It means can... shining brightly, radiant. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, shining bright... Uh, okay, if gold... Oh! Like Guess you like that one. Rock. Oh, uh, uh, rock like that. Rock Pushy. like that one. Because it's a big word. How about, yeah. um... How about... Uh... Amazing. Let's see. Oh, I gotta think about this one. Well, 
that's the one. Aura. Aura. Who who associates with Aura? That, that's the one I can't understand. Lucario. No, actually, it was Rock. She's Lucario in disguise. That's a point for Rock. That is a point for Rock. That that's two points for Rock. That's a point from you, and that's a point for me. All right. She's out of the negative. Man, hi, Philbert. <laughs> hey, <he's still laughs> Mary. You look like you're in a good. Are we? Um, I'm not in a good mood. I'm in an all right mood. Then clearly, Philbert's mood is all because of you. I'm just in a good mood because I'm setting a date Ooh. in real life. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not um... trying to share my personal life, but apparently I have a date. Nice. Yeah. She's kind of hungry. She wants us to buy her a snack. Oh, let me tell you about... We said uh, no. Wait, what does she want for a snack? She said we said no, so we're well, not going to help her. Philbert's actually growing a backbone. It's about yeah. time, Philbert. He doesn't want. Oh, uh, she was gonna bully him into buying something. That's a minus point for a little sister complex. Oh yeah, it's a plus point for Philbert. Yeah, plus for Philbert, but minus plus for, for Philbert. Coins flew all over the desk. She only has two coins. I knew it. She was gonna make you pay for it. Mm-hmm. Cause that's cause good old dependable Philbert. She's just she's just lazy and wants you to pay. Good old dependable Philbert. He's the type of guy you would probably try to trick into raising the kid that's not even his. What Ooh. I'm saying is, Felbert's a cuck. He's kind of growing a backbone for himself right I now. I know, it's, it's like out of character. It's like day three, Felbert, oh my god, Felbert, what happened? That only leaves one option. <laughs> She's doing an anime thing, but it's <laughs> but based on what you said. <laughs> it's like she's throwing up. <laughs> oh, look who she is. She was drop. Yeah. I like to imagine rocks like in the back saying, I want to be a part of this conversation. Good I'm... God, I just want to be relevant. Please let me be relevant. I'm not giving her any points or whatever for that. I mean, you know, it's cool, Rock. You, you don't need to hide in the corner wishing you can be relevant. You can just be relevant. I mean... I'm not trying to say you got you got the assets to do whatever, um, sex like sexualizing you as an object, whatever. Because Felbert's secretly chauvinistic. That's right, Felbert's secretly a chauvinistic dick. I don't think that's a secret at all. Well, that that's his creative side saying, "Man, I'm just undressing all of these characters." I mean. Yeah, probably. If this was Silent Hill, all of them would be bobble-headed nurses. I don't know what they're talking about. It. At least they didn't say boobs again. I mean, Felbert likes it. Well, I, I guess. I'm just saying, let's be honest, uh, you and me, we're not, like, horny teenage boys, right? 
Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not. 30, and you're past 30, so no, I am I past say, 30. I would say no, we're not. So, with that in mind, basically, Filbert here... I guess what I'm trying to say is there's, like, a third person here who has to be, like, the teenage voice for Filbert, right? And that's essentially what's making Filbert do all the things that he's doing on his own. <laughs> oh. What happened? <laughs> Smacked in the face. That's right. Where's my money? She got smacked in the face. With what? Well, it was. It was. It was Monica, wasn't it? Probably. No, it was a cookie. They threw a cookie. Someone threw a cookie right at Little Sister Complex's. Uh, Who? You know, Is here's here's what I don't understand. I know we're in a club, right? You mean to tell me, like, between classes and stuff, no one writes, like, a letter to say, I love you. Like, wow. a confession letter? She threw it. Pink threw yeah, it. she did throw it. Because let me tell you, if this was real life, right, pink like, up. Pink would probably get, like, five letters, like, for confessing. Little Sister Complex would at least get one. Um, Rock... Just, just based on what I'm seeing here, she would get like 20 confession letters saying, I That's love weird. you. Minus point. Minus point for a rock there. Uh, but Monica, she would get like, you know, 100 at least. Rock just hugged a cookie. No thanks. Well, that, that's cute. It's. I'll, I'll give her, I'll give her a point. Okay. Um... Because, you know, she she appreciates the value of food and sweets. Well, little sister said, just eat your cookie. Um, well, you know, no, I like cookies. What kind of cookie are we talking about? Oh, it's Japanese, so it's probably some weird, like, green tea. What if it's like those cookie. Kit Kats? You know, you know, the kind that are like weird flavors? It's probably what it is. Wasabi Kit Kats. Oh, my God, why? Because they make those. Well, I don't want that. I'll try one. I'm not going to like it. I don't like wasabi. I'm not going to like <laughs> it either, but I'll still try it. I've never had one, so I don't know if it's good or bad, but I'll still try it just because it's an experience. Oh, I like that face. It's a weird face. It is. Plus one for pink. Ooh, okay. Just because that is that is like that is like a face of like shame and <laughs> anger, but also being forced to do something. Mm. Hey, did you seriously just do that? I did. <laughs> she ate her cookie. She stole that cookie from Pink and ran off. Uh, you, Monica, you, where is Monica? Yeah, She's where been like is? nowhere. She's not here right now. I know. It makes me weird. Why do we not have any male friends we can like come? We can like you know, know uh, talk is. about our feelings with. I know where Monica is. In in the control room. Yeah, actually. She she's hanging with us in the brain space. She's hanging with uh. She, the she's dog. in the corner. She's hanging with that dog. From Silent Hill Two, yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking the same thing. I mean, we're also here in the control room. Bark 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 bark. Yeah yeah absolutely. There's the dog. Hi doggo. Bark 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 bark. bark. She has a boyfriend. Wait, who has a boyfriend? Monica, that's what they're saying. She's Good! Boy. I'm glad she has a boyfriend. But she deserves... That boyfriend isn't you. Good! I'm glad! I'm not jealous at all. Uh, I'm a little jealous. I'm not jealous at all. I, I mean, hi, Monica. How was your date with your boyfriend? Was it good? 
Hope it was good. You think he kissed her? Uh, she probably they probably made out like five million times, and you know, like so much for me, Felbert. Oh, you I, don't, think I don't get to make out with Monica. You think they did enacted in some French kissing? I, I think I think it went only to French kissing and nothing more because Monica right. is not she's not a slut. No, you know, no. Monica has standards, but she's no. also not a prude. Uh, and they're also in school right now. They're also in school. You know, Monica. Monica's willing to put up. You know, she she's she's willing to put up. She's not all for show, but she also has standards. Uh, let's talk about being late or something right now. I'm not. But my point is, uh, she wasn't Monica... with her boyfriend. She was practicing piano. Oh. Nobody knew she played music, and she's saying, "Actually, I'm pretty terrible." That's okay. I know a character that was terrible at music, but they surprisingly got better each day within a span of five days. That's kind of true, actually. It was in a game that we played pretty recently. Yeah, Resident Evil. Oh, it wasn't Resident Evil. Actually, no, wait, that did also happen, but that wasn't in the span of days. That was in the span of minutes. <laughs> that was Rebecca Chambers. Which one of these is Rebecca Chambers? Um, none of them. That's a, actually a good thing. I agree. If Rebecca Chambers was Whoa. any of these characters, she would be the best. She just smiles. I mean, also, Monica is clearly the best choice. Uh, plus one for her smile. Ooh, okay. I, I can easily be swayed by her. Now, what would, I, what would you say if I told you that Monica knows Kung Fu? Um, well, that depends. Um, is she, is she gonna, like, throw down? She's gonna throw somebody down. Um, you know, I always like a woman that can kick my ass. Okay, Spike Spiegel. I find that pretty hot. Okay, Spike Spiegel. I he mean... that exact line in one of the episodes. I mean, I can get behind that. Um, I... You know what? I think you could beat me up. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. But it's not going to come to that. <laughs> Slump down the nearest, I suppose, the occupants... It, look, well, I did a thing, it. okay? Can people read my terrible poem and tell me what I did wrong? I can tell you what we did wrong. I'm also a bit tired to read too, so I'm not really. Oh, reading. it's okay. I can talk. <laughs> I can talk for the both of us. <laughs> Sayori, there she is. She looks sad though. Monica looks sad too. They gave up. I mean... There's a festival. Look, Monica has a boyfriend. We don't know I will that. never end up with Monica, okay? We don't know that. There's a festival or something. Mmm... -hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. It solves my problem. What, what problem? Festival? Uh -huh. Festival couples? Stop it! Stop it! You're making me think of that. Well, I need more alcohol. <laughs> you can't have more alcohol. I know. I'm going to bed soon. Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> I can't drink and then go to bed. I, had, I did that before and it was a bad idea. You're right. You should drink some water. <laughs> Now you're making me think of bad things. I mean, 
I, I don't care if you share bad things here, but... I'm not sharing it with anybody. I'm that's a closed... fine. You don't have to share anything with me. I'm a closed book. That's fine. You can be the closest book. It makes me sad. I'm gonna cry. Is that a plus one for... <laughs> For little sister complex? No, she's the one who makes me think of the Cupcakes! <laughs> cupcakes? Who's got cupcakes? <laughs> she said cupcakes! Who said it? Uh, little sister. Alright, alright. I feel a little bit better right now. Yeah. Um, oh, cupcakes. wait. She's talking about Pink makes the best cupcakes. Well, it's true. She makes cat cupcakes. I mean, we sold her soul for the, her cupcake. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. I'm not gonna, I was like, eh, cupcakes is. <laughs> She's hungry now. You find yourself smart? Man, Sayori is there. Yeah. But there's an unexpected reason why I admire her. Like me. We're gonna fall in love with her. I don't want to fall in love with Sayori, except I, I, I guess she's the best choice because I can't be in love with Monica. She has a boyfriend or something. We're gonna smoot Sayori. Oh, this was too close. That was way too close. That's a I have personal boundary issues. That is minus point. Well, except, you know, Felbert's probably okay with it. Oh, she jumped back. Yeah. She's I'm not, not sorry. sorry at all. Dude, she's into us. It's your fault for sleeping on me. She's... Oh. You know, plus one for letting us, you know, sleep on her and being so polite about it. You're staying up late again, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, you're going to the club. She told us to go to the club. Uh, no, she wanted us to spend more time writing poetry and less- I don't- okay, minus point, one point for that, because, I mean, anime is awesome and literature sucks. Monica. Yeah, Monica- I don't care about Monica. She has a boyfriend. She's gonna go make out with her boyfriend. Mm. No time for me, Velbert. She's, she's got plenty of time for you. Monica? I don't think so. Oh, she's got the time. Well, are you talking about Little Sister Complex? No. Monica? Uh-huh. But she has a boyfriend, and it's not me. Hit or miss. I guess she never misses, huh? <laughs> you got a boyfriend. I guess he never kissed ya. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you know, honestly, I wouldn't mind being Monica's boyfriend, but I'll never get to experience that. With Monica? I guess I'll just have to, like, I guess I'll just have to, you know, pity date a Little Sister Complex or something. But she likes you. You can tell. I yeah. know, that's what sucks about it. I think all of them like you besides me. Well, maybe that, that, That's what sucks about it. It's like, what do I... So, I act like a jerk, right? Yeah. And obviously, spooky stuff happens. Eventually, I, uh, I I pay the ultimate price for whatever's going on, right? I act like the yeah. biggest jerk, and then I, I suffer for it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, at the end of the day, what does it matter if I slobber over Monica? Because, um... Little Sister Complex is like... But what about me? Where it's just like, you know, I'm just using you as like some surrogate Monica where clearly you'll never hold up a candle to Monica, but you're you're I'm just trying to like fill in a spot which you could never like hold up. You could never be that spot. I already know what happens to all of these people. Is it bad? Um Uh One of them deserves one of them, no, that deserves a bad word. Um, one of them is, uh, no, I'm not going there. <laughs> um, well, I will say this. Um, 
it gets interesting, I'll say that, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hear that this game gets very interesting. I do know what happens to little sister here. I do know what happens to Rock. And I think I know what happens to Pink. But I'm 100% I, I, sure. I don't know. I just know that I'm 100% Monica... sure. I, know I just know I... Monica gets really crazy. Yes. But I do know 100% sure what happens to Rock. Oh! And... Oh, Jeez. No! Oh. No, no, no! Minus... Minus points! How many? <laughs> uh... I'd say three at least, but I can yeah. only do one at a time. Okay. That's the rules. You can only minus one or plus one, but you can't... Yeah. I'm not okay with this. Where's the button where it says this is not okay? Wow. Felbert, stop! Felbert, no! Oh no, I didn't want to choose Little Sister you know, Complex. I know what happens. Uh, look, I, 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 I joke, know. but that's just it. It's a joke. Stop stop doing this with Little Sister Complex. You know, the yeah, sad thing is she's okay oh with this, He's isn't she? Chest. She's okay with this, isn't she? Um, well, oh, yeah. Um, I'm fixing her buttons for her. I mean, I guess that's thoughtful, she just but this is coming off really creepy. Will you stop with the boob stuff? Come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she doesn't really have that big of a bust in comparison to Monica she and just Rock. Said, she just said her, they got bigger. I don't... Stop it. I mean, I guess, but... You know, a little sister complex. It's so stuffy. I don't like this. Me neither. I don't like this. It's not worth it at all. If, the, if I was a horny teenage boy, I'd probably she be more into this. She oh no. Voice. That's better. It twirls around. I won't get a boyfriend, she said. What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying it? Yeah. What? Because... If I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't let you do things like this. Okay. So she doesn't have a boyfriend. No. But she wants you to be her boyfriend. Uh, I mean, we take better character than anybody else, so, yeah, I guess we, we basically are the best choice for being boyfriend. Boyfriendo. Um, I mean, at this point, why don't we just get married? <laughs> that's not gonna happen I'm sorry you're right it's not gonna happen but I mean if that was the case why don't we just get married oh it's not that's definitely not gonna happen come and wake me up in the morning um here's a question are we gonna be like prince charming and say i'll wake you up but you know i'll i'll make you breakfast or is it like the other yeah. way around where she's gonna come over to our house and make no. us breakfast that's you're how gonna, she's gonna wake us up you're gonna go over to her house monica suddenly calls out why don't we share the palms you know what, Monica? I think you should yeah. chaperone these two because they're getting awfully too close. I I'd be fine with Monica saying, "Hey, you two, get a room." <laughs> oh, we get, oh we get to share with the with these two. All four of them. Yeah. 
Um, why don't you pick the n random number generator? Because I did that All in right. like, the last part. One out of four. Okay. And the dinner is... Number... Two! Okay, we're going to... Pink oh, here. Pink. <laughs> Why are you picking me? Hair well, it's not terrible. Hair? So, you know, she's giving us some praise. Didn't she say? Oh, it's pretty disappointing after a while. Yeah, she gave us some praise, but immediately shot us down afterwards. Oh. Mm hmm. Um, I mean, we are pretty new at this, but so are you. Your poem sucked last time. Hmm. She said our poems like Sayor. I mean, I guess that's. No, I take it back. If it was more like rock, I'd be okay with that. I mean, I do like Sayori poem because it was pretty descriptive but then again who can say right poem i haven't was... read her poem um she's but, dead weight yeah she's dragging around dead weight it's i think she's talking about boobs no she's t oh god because Man. she's so flat chested will you stop with the boobs <laughs> <point>. <laughs> <laughs> I think this game deserves a minus point. So far. Yeah. I'm supposed to show you my poem. Alright, let's get to it. Come That's on. Rude. I wonder if it's gonna be something... Oh. It's a lot better. Jesus, it's long. Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you ready? Yep, I'm I'll ready. read it for I'm, you. I'm listening. I'm gonna close okay. my eyes and listen. Hopefully okay. I don't fall asleep. <laughs> Amy likes spiders. Amy? Amy. Oh, okay. You know what I heard about Amy. Mm -hmm. Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her sing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's not why. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she likes ho other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers, and I'm going to tell everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> that is surprisingly... That is... That is so... <laughs> you know what? I'm not giving her any plus points because I actually like spiders, so clearly... She Pink wouldn't like would me. Hate yeah, she wouldn't like me. Um, I'm a spider lover in terms of this poem. Um, I find it funny just because the lengths that she goes through to not like this one person simply because they like spiders is it's comical in that way. I, I can see that. I see, it's I a very see. comical poem. You know, it's very coherent. It's about a subject. It's I think. not a poem. It's not a poem, it's more of a rant, if you really had to go down to it, but it's, it's rhythmic diary, enough sure. that it sort of has a, a flow like a poem. I would say this, I think it's really, really funny. It's a nice comedy, if you will, even right. though it's not meant to be a comedy. 
You've opened my eyes to something. Hmm. I'm gonna give you a point. Okay. It's, this is very Shell Silverstein. It's I very, got you. It's very Shell Silverstein like. You sort said, of opened my eyes. That said, it's a stupid poem. It's a very stupid poem, but I think that's why it's hilarious. I don't like it. it it's so one track, and I think that's why it's hilarious. Like, it, it's ironically funny, as I would say. And it's very her. It, it, you're right. It's very in line. Um, no, that's that's a terrible poem. It's it's funny for all the reasons you did not intend. Um, and you're right, it is a lot longer. Also, Otto. That was just one moment. Oh god, please don't write us the declaration. You know, I am fine things. with that if it's in the same vein as I don't like spiders. Right, so she's shall so Uh, let's see. A complicated issue with much simpler analogies. Uh, man, she is so sadistic. Yes. It doesn't help that I'm pretty masochistic. Some would say that's a pretty good match. I would say, not really. I would say, yippee yi yo Well, I mean, she deals out punishment. I keep wanting more. By the end of it, I just, I just feel pain. So is that a point for her? No, it, it's like nothing. Is it a half a point? It's nothing. Is it minus 10 points? No, <laughs> she doesn't minus 10 points. I mean, I, I guess, like, give her one point simply because her poem made me laugh. Oh, I mean, I don't have to add any. I'm just fooling around. Oh, well, I mean, we have to, we have to, like, be point happy, right? Point sad. Point sad. Uh, currently, uh... She's in last place still. Uh, good. <laughs> I don't want a happy end for Pink. I'm okay if Pink does not get a happy end. She's the one that I don't know her end. Or I'm not sure of her ending. Oh, here we go. New person. Aw oh, man, who do you want? Well, I guess like random number generator one through three. Alright, let's go. One. Oh, little sister complex. Here we go. Just a dot dot dot. Oh my goodness. So good. She loves it. She loves our poem. Uh, good. I'm glad. Damn it, you're gonna be waifu. I'm not okay with that, by the way. Is that minus point? That That's like, yeah. You know what? Minus point because she's gonna end up being waifu. And I don't want her to be waifu. She's currently in last place. Is she? Yep. I thought she'd be, like, first. She was until she decided to push her face. And then I got really upset about it. I mean, I was upset about it, too, but... Yeah, but I'm, I'm super upset about it. Well, her poem might win her some points from me, so... Probably. I mean, it was good last time. I wonder if it's gonna, like, devolve into being, like... Not so good. Man, oh man. Can we just get to the part where you actually tell us, or like show us your poem? Give me your that would poem. make me happy. A poem. It's not just a poem. 
Uh, is she trying to make us feel better? It's. She it's, really is trying to make us feel better. It's extra about the garbage special. we wrote. It's extra special. She wants us to feel her. Did you just hug against us? Oh no, I don't. I don't like this. I don't us. like this. She's trying to be so cutesy that she worms her way, she worms her way into your heart strings to the point where she's like, "I, you love me now. Look at my cute charm. Yeah, you love me now. But you know what? I don't love you. Yes, you do. I, I don't want this. You want Monica? Stop it. You want Monica? Get help. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> if you're doing drugs, stop it. Get stop some it. Help. I'll tell you who's my drug right now. It's apparently little sister complex. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Yeah, please. Give me Michael Jordan. Tell him to just stop it. You know, he was, he, he, he was saying that all on behalf of McDonald's. Oh my god. Just show us your poem. Man, oh man. I, I agree. Just get to the point, man. Sayori. Look, I get it. You're trying to be cutesy and, and stuff and reiterating all the points that we made, but, you it's know, whatever. You. It's working on you. It's not. Hmm. It's not. Look, we. I just got out of a game where the cutesy character was like, you know, good ending, but it turns out aliens or something. You crazy. know what's not going to happen in this game? Aliens or something. Well, that would be the least weird thing that would happen in this Th game. That would be the best thing that happens. Alright, show us your poem. Poem time. Man, oh man. Happy and sad? Grumpy I'm feeling more sad right now. I'm feeling very tired. <laughs> A little happy. Rain clouds. Man, oh man. Sad uh, poem. Can... Oh, oh, she might say the word. Nice happy rainbow. No, that wasn't the word. No, but it was close. It was close. Uh, we might, it, you know what? She might say, she might say the secret word of the day in her poem. Thanks, Philbert. I should write that down. Want to read? Now we can read her yes. poem. Thank goodness. Oh my God, this one's so long. Bottles. Right, I'm gonna close my eyes, and you're gonna read. All right. I hope Get... our, I'm gonna doze off probably too. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Okay, everything's still recording. I, I once just need found to a bottle more. in the ocean. No, 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 no. Wet. I'll, I'll, mm. I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Bottles. I popped off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. What? It's the secret place where I keep all of my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck out, pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And then I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles all in a row. My collection oh my makes me a lot of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, 
more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies, digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done, I open up and come and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend. Each and every bottle, but every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading something, but all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Wow. You know what? That's surprisingly deep. It is very deep for a little sister complex. That's surprisingly deep. The, the game is of, already on par. I was kind of annoyed with it at first, but it's quite um, it was quite from the emotion. Yeah. My only issue is it's very wordy. It's extremely wordy, especially for little sister complex. But I sort of followed it. It had a lot of uh, metaphors. It was not. That was not bad. No, it Not sort bad. of gave me a, a... It sort of reminded me of Inside Out. I'll give her a point for that, yeah? Yeah. I, I liked Inside Out. I'll give her a point for that. It's not bad. It was kind of high school-y, but... Yeah. I, I enjoyed it. For the most part. I mean, that's true. They are in high school. Anyways, it feels like I was meant to express myself this way. Uh, passionate about this stuff, huh? Man, oh man, I hope we can talk to Monica and, like, get her poem. I hope it's really spoopy. Who, Monica? Yeah. Probably gonna be... I don't know. You know what? You her know who's poem... gonna have... Her poem was the worst last time, right? No, uh, pink, pink was the worst. I think pink was the worst. You know who it's probably going to also have another wordy poem? You know what's going to be a long poem? Rocks. A You're million, right. Million. Well, you know, one or two. Let's go with, uh... Oh. Number one. Oh, uh, okay. Go with Monica last. All right. Well, to be fair, Rock's gonna have the most longest and descriptive poem. It's gonna be really dark. It's gonna be like, in my flesh. Oh, she liked it. My sorrow bumbling she, through my Rock veins. liked our poem. Each breath of oxygen is a... Is she gonna talk about asphyxiation? <laughs> no. I mean, making, because the way you describe it, it sounds I'm making, like she's going to talk I'm making about a, asphyxiation. I'm making a poem for her. In her style. Let's 
she hiding her arm? Metaphors go a long way. They do. You should read uh, Sayori's poem. Man, oh man. Write down things you see in here. That's... I get descriptions. It's something I lack a lot when writing. Not that I'm a writer or anything. That's probably why I'm not a writer. I get bored when I start describing things. Because it's Helping. so easy to do, but at the same time, you can just focus too long on descriptions. I get bored. I get bored with a lot of things. <laughs> I guess... Does she not have a nose? Oh. Oh. Uh, this one's long, but it's not it as long is. as... It's not... I don't think it's nearly as long, but it's very wordy. At least she got to, uh... The point was showing this poem. Yeah. Um... What's this one called? Are you ready? Yeah, let's hear it. What's it called? The Raccoon. The Raccoon. Okay, Tom Nook. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. <laughs> My affection was caught by the scruffle. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus on this. By the sc scuttering? I guess. It's kind of hard for me to read. S C U T T E R I N G. Yeah, scuttering, I guess. Scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, oh, my God. hungry curiosity, the raccoon, and urge the moon increment uh i n c r e m e n t s increments i guess the moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife the same the very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend i slice the bread fresh and soft the raccoon becomes excited or perhaps i'm merely projecting my emotions onto the, the newly satisfied animal the raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement, a rush of blood classic Pavlovian conditioning I slice the bread and I feed myself again it's very this is uh this is interesting well obviously it's a metaphor for cutting yourself <laughs> I was gonna go with like it's a metaphor for gluttony it's a metaphor for cutting yourself you cut yourself, and it's like bread that it keeps filling you. That you well, I was saying more. so. You know, 
you're feeding the raccoon, but really you're feeding your urges. She's feeding her desire for pain. Or are you saying she's a masochist? Her, I don't know. She, she cuts herself. I didn't like it. It was kind of. It wasn't really poetic. It was, it was more of a short story, if I'm honest. Yeah, it was. But here's the thing: this isn't a poetry club. You know, it's. It is. You know what it is? Club. It's a literature club. But they, they say me. poems, but why can't it be short stories? Work of fiction. A microfiction. Somebody wrote a, a microfiction in three words, and that's what his story was. And they spent like two hours talking about this story for three words. And this is where I drew the line in my literature. It's like, why are we talking about Mm hmm. I don't even remember the story, to be quite honest. It was. I wasn't in that class, but it was people were in it that I knew. Anyways. So, Rock is kind of dark. Yeah, that's her thing. <laughs> She's just gonna be the dark one. Well, she got sick, dark, twisted fantasy. No one man should have all that. Anyways. Uh, make fun of my ho- Wait, who? I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. So I fall for judging, isn't it? Yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, Monica, right? Somebody, I don't know. Monica, right? <sighs> okay, thank you for sharing with me. We're almost done, Chess. We just have to <laughs> talk to Green Eyes. We gotta hear her poem. I can't wait. Yep. Cause so far she doesn't have a she doesn't really have much competition. If she just read something relatively poetic. Uh-huh. I'd probably like it the best out of the, of the Here bunch. you go. It's green eyes time. Green eye lady, ocean lady. Yeah, yeah, here she is. Hello oh. again. You know what? Why don't you go bug off? You can go make out with your boyfriend. You're her boyfriend. I'm not her boyfriend. She. They said she has a boyfriend. I, I wish I was her boyfriend. I don't even think they said that. I just put words in their mouth. I know, but <laughs> now it's a thing. Monica, go make out with your boyfriend. It's not me. I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be salty and jealous the whole entire time. About Monica's boyfriend that may or may yeah, not exist. That may or may not exist. <laughs> Here we go, Monica. Judge my poem Alright. I like this one. It makes me feel something Sayori would like or think of something Sayori would So little sister complex. Yeah. Alright. You know, I don't even care. Look, Whoa. she's alright, I guess. We're on her track now. She already... Look, Chester, she she kind of reminds me of you, I guess. In that sense that... I, I just... Look, you have a boyfriend. I can never be with you. But if I could, I mean, I, I would need a little sister complex, right? Um... Yeah... But there's some similarities that you wouldn't. She talks the way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well being. Yeah, I don't care about her well being. I gotta be honest. She's a bunch of sprites and two dimensional artwork. Sprite? I could go for a sprite. I'm drinking sprite. Oh, cool. But you know who? You know who actually has depth? Monica? No, her eyes. Monica's eyes have depth. Because they're so green. That's one 
point for Monica's eyes. One point for Monica's eyes. Oh, oh boy. Man, oh man. Exploring some motion like happiness and sadness. I explore motions like that all the time. Oh, I do too. Except, you know, it's more like depression and anxiety. Well, it's more mania and... Um... And, ma yeah. and you know, yeah. some, a little bit of manic. There's some manic bits. What's the opposite of mania? Uh... I, I, I have no idea. Anyway, I'm a manic depressant. Manic dep You're like Khan from King of the Hill. Eh, maybe. Yeah. Save me. Uh, ooh, oh, I this. like this one. This is, this this one is nice poetic. and simple. Alright, let's hear it. Save me. The colors. They won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing expanding piercing mm. red green blue an endless cacophony of meaninglessness or meaningless noise the noise it won't stop violent grating waveforms squeaking screeching piercing sine cosine tangent mm. like playing a chalkboard on a turntable playing a vinyl on a pizza crust an endless poem of meaninglessness mm -hmm, mm -hmm. squonky 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 right. did you talk to Tigger beforehand I liked that one I liked it too. It was simple and straight to the point. It talks about how it's, it struggles with school and life in general and how any of this is just meaningless in the end. It's not bad. I'll give her a point for that. I'll give her a point too. And her word choice was quite good. Especially, like, uh, an alliteration of some words in there. It was the only one of this bunch that actually felt poetic. Uh, I mean, I guess it does follow up with the... the roles of, you know, the homework we're given at our club, right? The homework is write a poem. And I write a poem. That we never see. Yeah. I, I would like to see what the reader comes up with. What do you think of Monica's hands? I think they're very dainty. What do you think of her mouth? Um, I think it's a mouth. Hmm. What do you I, think I have her? a question. Since, since we're talking about her facial... What do you think about her cheeks? Her cheeks? Yeah. They're very rosy. Right? Like she doesn't have any. She's a very circular face. She does have a very circular face. I don't know. Something's weird about it. I'm not saying that, like, it's unattractive. I'm just saying, like, some something's weird about her face. Mm. Like, it's okay. She's still, she's still a total wifeo, but I'll never be able to date her because she's dating someone already. It's probably Dave. Dave? Dave always gets the chicks. I know a Dave, and he definitely doesn't get the chicks. Well, this Dave is different. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Monica's dating Dave, I bet. I wish I was Dave. Why can't why can't I be Dave? Filbert will never be Dave. Filbert is named after a flower. I mean, I guess, but you know, and a, and a nut. <laughs> that I I actually do know about, but that's not why I named Filbert Filbert. Uh don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? 
What are we decorating? I have no idea. <laughs> Working on post. Oh, we're we're doing pamphlets and posters. I guess they're trying to get new members. Oh, for an event? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. How how are you gonna advertise for the literacy club or whatever? You write words on a paper. I know, but that's not gonna entice people. They're gonna be like, "Ew, I don't want to deal with English or Japanese." Hmm. Like, I get it. Some people have a way w with words, but you know what? The average normie doesn't. I'm a normie. I don't have a way with words. You can. No. Not, not, not the way you think I would. I have a way with words in sort of a spastic manner. You can. I know you can. Well, I know people who had no poetic bone in their body and they wrote decent poetry. I'm that tone person. deaf. That's music, so you'd be fine. <laughs> I'm tone deaf with my words. I look. I believe in you. Well, um, look. Uh, you, you got what I need. You say he's just a friend. Say he's just a friend. Oh, oh baby. baby. <sighs> you know, only two of them have their eyes open. You're right, and two of them have their eyes closed. One almost has her eyes closed. Well, now it's Not there. anymore. Nope. Now three of them have their eyes closed. <laughs> so clearly the person we can't be with. Is basically well, Monica, the shining light. Monica can't close her eyes. She has to peer directly in our soul. Always. I mean, I'm fine with it. She can peer into my soul and realize, oh, God. Oh, God. oh I'm why? I, I'm kind of oh, scared. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. You've been a bad boy, Gildum. I'm sorry. I fear for your soul. That That's why she looks the way she does. She's like, why did I do this? Nope, See, her now eyes she's are closed. Close. She nope, can't. One she can't has, bear with it. Only one person has their eyes open now. It's a little. No, no, nope. two people. No, nope, three no, people. Only has one closed. Okay. You got. You got. Little sister complex. You got pink. You got. Um, green eyes, and you got rock. Yep. I don't know what we they're saying at all. I'm not paying attention. Me neither. <laughs> it's Doki Doki Literature Club. Everybody Look, is I was under the impression that something was going to happen, and I know it's going to happen. It happens. But I'm not playing this game because it's a dating simulator. But we want to date one of these girls. I don't. Except maybe Monica, but not really. Monica is like low tier. She's the, not low tier, she's just kind of like... In the grand scheme of life. I'm trying to think of a proper term to put this. or I'm trying to phrase my words in a way that it makes sense. Um, this is a school, right? Mm -hmm. And I was kind of put into this club. Not by my own will, but kind of like... Uh, enticed into coming here, right? Yeah. And I admit, you know, like, if I was in high school and, like, if these people had a more realistic depiction of actual, uh, girls, and I'm, like, I don't know, high school age, like, sure, you probably have some awkward, like, attraction to all of them and you're trying to figure out which one do I want to date. But here's the other side to it. It's a school, right? Mm -hmm. And you spend most of your time in classes, right? Mm -hmm. And so you see other people, right? Mm -hmm. So what's to say, you know, just because you're in this class, maybe there's, like, another person. Like Jan in 2B. And, it, like, you're also in 2B. That's your home, cl that's your home room class. Oh. And, um, I, you I'm, know, she she's sweeter than Little Sister Complex. I was thinking complex. completely different. So 
sorry. <laughs> it's it's okay. But my point <laughs> is, you know, you only the main part of the game takes place in the literacy club, right? Yeah. But then you also have to remember how long do you take place in here in comparison to the rest of the school day? Apparently more time than anything. Yeah, but I, I like to imagine not really. I mean, granted, probably even if you were to answer those questions, uh, school is boring, nothing really happens. That's why they glance over it, right? Uh, that was foreshadowing. Let's move on to the main event. I want you, each of you to choose a poem. Or, oh, do we get to choose a poem? Oh boy. No way. Monica. This is too sudden. No one wants to do that. Monica, this is a terrible plan. Oh boy, are you ready for this? No. We're gonna cite our poems in front of strangers. I'm ready to just recite my poems in front of strangers. I did, actually. Yeah, we did. We already did. We're already on top of the curb, Monica. Actually, we... Technically, we recited poetry in front of strangers. We, that's right, we did. <laughs> Through this video. We, you're right. We've done it, like, two times already. It's gonna be three at the end of this part. Yeah. Inflection, inflection is pristine. She shows how to exactly apply emotion. Man. She's like a natural born actor. That's where I failed. Citing poetry, I wasn't very good at. You could you can portray the tone. You can portray the emotion. I didn't really know what I was doing. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Never stopped me before. I was also pretty young. I'll tell you what the big difference is between me and actually Monica here. And, and Monica. I'll tell you what the difference is between me and Monica, because Monica apparently knows how to actually do something. Mm. I come off like Tommy was so in the room. I did not. I didn't. I did not. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> That's me. Hi, doggy. Oh, hi, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, why? Uh, she's so fired up. Here she goes. I don't she walks know like, quickly over to the podium. She's going to recite her poem. This poem is called... Or, I guess it's just a different poem. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. um, oh, man. After image of a crimson eye. Crimson lance? No, Crimson Eye. Crimson Head. Crimson Eye. Well, man, I, you know what? Where's our poem? Is it Roses Are Red, Violets Are Blue? I got a poem for us. Do you? Yeah, I just gotta remember all the words. Okay. I'll give you I'll give you a second while I try to keep the audience entertained. Suicide. Is sunshine. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, we did pick the word suicide, right? We did pick the word <laughs> suicide, but, you know, I wasn't thinking you were going to recite the lyrics to the MASH song. MASH song? Yeah, Suicide is Painless. Oh, I don't know that song. Oh. Uh, uh it, it, it's pretty morbid. I got a morbid song for you. What's that? It's called... Hip. Hippopotamus. Hip, hip, hooray. Hippopotamus. Uh, uh. Is she still going? Yeah, she is. Uh. She's also extremely nervous about it. Uh. I'm sorry if this is well written. It's 3.30 in the morning. 
<laughs> Not for me, but I can relate. That was good. Now we gotta go to the last two. Looks down for the ki- Oh man, here he's down for the- Okay, Little Miss Sunshine, here we go! Oh, is Steve Carell here now? I've never watched that movie, by the way. I like that movie. My Meadow. Oh. You know what, I'm gonna I'm look this up, I'm gonna do a Google search. What are you searching? My Meadow. Here we go, my meadow. My meadow, and I'm gonna look, type in poem. I don't think it's a real poem. I I I am positive you're right. <laughs> um, apparently the first thing is, um, the Doki Doki Literature Club, uh, Amino. Oh, look at that. So, basically, if there's going to be anything, it's an association that, uh, it, it's associated to this game. Man, oh man. Why can't I make a poem as good as that? You didn't even hear it. Serene and bittersweet. Because I'm, uh, I don't know. Any poem I write is more silly. I could help you with a bittersweet poem. I don't want a bittersweet poem. My life is a joke. I, I am the clown that has to put up the makeup. Continue. This, this is already a start of a good poem right there. But, you know what? It's okay. Because at the end of the day, I say, hey... What a wonderful kind of day. Yeah. To live and work and play and to get along with each other. <laughs> that sounds good, Arthur. <laughs> Are you gonna go to Caramel Dancing on Ice? Um, no. That's who these girls remind me of, the Caramel Dancing girls. I oh god, I am sure that exists on YouTube. They look like them. Well, I mean, it's not just that. I am sure cuz one, that song is memeable. Two, I'm sure someone in their free time animated, you know, like uh Green Eyes, Little Sister Complex, Rock and Pink Hair with the poses the and Camel dance and dance. Yeah, exactly. Look, there's already the song. It's the greatest song ever. It's um I thought you hated that song. I do hate that song, but I'm talking about something else that oh. they memed. Okay. Um so you know that song Mambo number five? Oh, I love that song. Yeah, I do too. And um they you know they that actually song is twenty years old now. Well, there you go. One more year and I can buy you a drink. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyways, where I was going with this is, so, you know how it's like a little bit of Monica in the sun? Yeah. So, because of that lyric, they beamed it with this whole entire game. A little bit of Monica in my life, a little bit of Monica yeah, by it, my Yeah, it's son. really good. It's really good. <laughs> They're still talking. <laughs> they are. Oh my god. You know, the funny thing is, I'm gonna go watch that after this part ends, and I'm gonna understand why Pink looks so grumpy in that video. Because she's grumpy all the time. She doesn't have she a mouth She is grumpy right all now. the time. And now she has a mouth. But she didn't have a mouth. They all have mouths. Well, that one pose, she had no mouth. I, I suppose that's true. Um, you know, I just realized something. Uh-huh. Rock has violet eyes, Monica has, like, emerald green eyes. Mm -hmm. Little Sister Complex has, like, sapphire blue eyes. Yeah. And, and pink has, well, pink eyes. Yeah. But they all have, like, colored eyes. Yes, 
but that people tend typically have colorful eyes. Well, I don't. You know what my eyes look like? Nah, my eyes are kind of dark too. My eyes are dark, but I have brown eyes, so they just look black. Yeah, I'm kind of. I look like I have zero irises. It's just black dots in my eyes. I kind of actually, you know what? I'm kind of there with you, except mine have a little bit of color to them. Mine don't. Mine have mine have like an absence of color. Absence. Especially when I have light shine in my face, I totally tell that they're brown. I, I guess what I guess yeah. If I have light in my eyes, you can you can kind of see more of the brown color. But I mean, you have to shine a light in my eyes to actually get that color. Otherwise, they look completely dark brown, like just black. Which I always think is kind of weird, but uh, that, that's we, just how it happens, I guess. Uh, we could buy color contacts and like have. People I wonder. Else. See, that's uh, that's something I wonder. My girlfriend has like, like lime green color con. They're kind of cool. I wish I had color contacts. I would want to get a showering gun. Oh, nice. Nerudo eyes. I would get, I would get like straight up white, so it looks like I'm blind, like like complete white. So I look like Voldemort, kind of. Mm-hmm. No, oh, that would be great. Be I cool. wish I had Voldemort eyes. That could be scary. Scare some kids with my white eyes. I mean, I would do it. Like, on Halloween. I feel like that's the only day you can get away with it. I would do it all the time. Unless, unless you were, like, you know, trying to go for the whole goth Here's, like, here's my... Thing. Here's what I would do, right? Okay, I'm listening. I would, I would buy these. Mm-hmm. And be like... Uh, and be like, uh, oh, man, my glasses broke. I have... These are the only way I can... You know, function. I have to wear these, right? So they have no choice but to let me wear them. I guess that works. And then never get them, f my, never get my glasses fixed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because some complication happens over and over and over. Wear these stupid white contacts. <laughs> I would just wear white contacts on Halloween. You know, people get their eyes tattooed. You know, I read a thing that uh, you can get glow-in-the-dark tattoos because they have ink for that. It's very dangerous. I think it's okay. All I don't right, want to get, so get tattooed. That's it for the day. All right, great. Yeah. Woo. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. All right. I, I'm ready. I got my poem. I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> you better, you better dream of that poem. I'll, I'll come up with something. <laughs> I'll come up with something equally as good. Better. Good. I hope so. Tomorrow's the big day. Can't wait. I can't wait. I can't do this. I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what she said. I stand up. I know. Try to do my best and get through it. Alright, here we go. It's the sake of the club. And impressing Monica. Oh! But, you know, too bad Dave's already dating Monica. A new ghost, Sayori? Yep. You're my surrogate. Why is pink here? You know, why is Tink... Why, why is pink happy about this why, why is, is monica happy about this i don't know don't make such a big deal out of it hello oh rock's jealous you know <laughs> if this game was supposed to like turn creepy and horror i've already lost interest and i probably would have stopped playing 
I mean, that's the point. It's supposed to, you're supposed to get invested at this point. I'm definitely not invested. I'm the opposite. Me neither. I, we've already <laughs> given them trait names. Everybody has, like, negative points except for Monica. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine with that. And Norton antivirus. So was... All right. Plus one for <laughs> antivirus. Nice. All right, Norton. <laughs> Norton. Norton is truly best girl. Norton is the best girl. Yeah, Norton is the best girl. Um, <sighs> little sister complex, you cannot compare to Norton. Norton keeps my PC running safe. <laughs> I, I want. I want to. I want to clarify. I am not sponsored by Norton in any way <laughs> or shape. Norton <laughs> I, I just want to reiterate. I. I have no connection to Norton. <laughs> But Norn Antivirus is the best girl, apparently. Yeah. I mean, well, Monica first, but... You know what? Monica already has a boyfriend. I'm, I choose to date Norn Antivirus. Uh, he, he might love At you. At least... It might love you. Oh, we... Whoa, what's this? We gotta make a choice? Yeah, we do. I would walk home with Yuri. I would come with Sayori. Ugh. So we got Rock? This is, like, the final choice, though. We got Rock? Yeah, or her. Or or, or, or little sister complex. Little sister. You, you choose little sister. Yeah, why not? I mean, if, if anything, we could harvest her. <laughs> we can harvest her. <laughs> okay, all right. I like that. That's not what I was gonna go with, but okay. All right, little sister. I'll walk home with you. I think I would ditch you for Yuri? What? No I way. mean, sure, she has, like, um, a more developed figure or whatever. She's attracted for a high school student. No way. But, little sister complex, she doesn't live anywhere close to you, and you're on my same route home. I just don't like any of them. I'm, I've, I've, I've... Except for okay. Monica. And even still, she's lukewarm at best. She's got one point for me. <laughs> I can't really figure you out sometimes. Good! Don't figure me out. What's the point? I'm a weirdo. I'm a creep. I what the hell am I doing here? I don't, I don't belong here. Conversation trails off. Good. Allow me to just like hang up like my backpack and pull out a sign that says the world's ending and go to like the corner of a street corner, and start shouting and spouting about how the world's ending. Uh, what will happen this time? Nothing. Nothing will happen. We got poetry. So next time, everybody, poetry. Yeah, we're gonna come up with a nice poem, you guys. I'm going to come up with a nice poem. Chaz is gonna come up with a five-star poem. Probably two stars. There we go. Save. All right, kids. Um, sleep well. Good and, night. And remember, Norton Antivirus. Is I'm not sponsored. We're not sponsored, but we can still say it's the best. I guess. Okay, bye.